All right, guys, Mr. G here with something a little bit different. Today, we're going to be talking about the newest Total War, Three Kingdoms. And if you've been playing Total War for a long time, you may have jumped into this one and went, wow, there's a lot of characters, there's a lot of colors, and there's a lot of things that just are unfamiliar as a veteran Total War player. And I've been just grinding away at this game for a few days, um, and I've figured some things out. So today's video, we're going to talk about the new character system, how they work, what do those goofy rainbow colors mean? Let's get to it. So this is one of my uh, late game Liu Bei uh, campaign here, and we've got just tons of characters. And they come in different classes. So we're gonna start with the Sentinel class, this purple one. The Sentinel class character um, is good at reducing building costs. They hold down choke points, they improve melee defense, and they usually work with melee shield infantry guys. So each character can recruit certain kinds of units into their retinue. So the way you can unlock characters is there's a base set of uh, units you can get, and then there's units you can get from a certain character. So we've got Zhao Yun here, Legendary Sentinel. Now Sentinels, um, yeah, they're gonna be melee infantry guys. So good for flanking. He's got fire arrows as an ability we've unlocked here. We've got melee evasion skill. We've got a little bit of authority and a little bit of public order. That's usually a skill you're gonna see with commanders and we'll get to that later. Um, so here's the skill tree. We've got industrial exploitation. So they are good as city administrators. They do have a lot of building bonuses they can do as well. So one of the units that they're most likely gonna have are these uh, melee units here. So we can see what kind of units this guy can recruit. Now we've got some that we've unlocked as a faction wide, but they're gonna do best with units of the same color which is that Sentinel class unit. All right, on to the next one we're gonna talk about today. That's champions, these guys in green, right? Now you're gonna get some legendary uh, generals as well. These are guys that you can't lose and you can recruit new ones. This is uh, Guan Yu. He's one of the guys you get in the Liu Bei campaign. Now champions, they increase population growth. They're good at fighting enemy heroes is the main thing that they're really good at doing is that they're really good at dueling other generals and killing them. They're not good against other units and their kind of units that they recruit are these green guys, spear infantry units. Glaive guys and spear infantry guys are gonna get bonuses from these guys. So you can see his uh, retinue gets 10% armor for spear infantry. Um, he's also gonna get some morale bonuses, some running speed bonuses, melee attack. Um, you know, some army things there as well. And uh, winning in melee combat, he's going to get a passive buff there of Unstoppable. Yeah, these guys are the best at locking down other generals and killing them. So if you can get these guys to challenge other guys for a duel, you're on the right track using champions. Now the next class we're going to talk about are strategists. These guys in blue. You do not want these guys in your front line. These guys are going to make, let's see if we can find one here. They're gonna do best with ranged units. The many together right here, as a okay. Whole. So let's take a peek at this particular one. They're gonna increase ammunition and supply. What do we got here? Decrease rate of wall settlement. Yeah, they're good at sieges. Um, plus 25% range damage, but they're extremely fragile in battle, as you can tell by wearing pajamas into combat. It's not doing anybody any favors in the front line. So that's your strategist class character. I always like to have one in, uh, each, in each army, just so that I can, you know, do some sieging and take down, um, cities a little bit faster. On to vanguards. These guys in the red. These guys are going to do best with shock cavalry. They're going to reduce recruitment costs, uh, and they're they're really wimpy against other heroes, but you can send them into combat against whole units by themselves. I like to lead cavalry charges with these guys. Unfortunately, in this army, you can see I don't have him with any cavalry. He sh should be a um, he should be a champion unit there, but we've got him as a vanguard unit because that's what he could recruit, and that's what I needed in that army at that time. So this is another one of our legendary ones, Zhang Fei. 25% campaign movement range is a good one. He's got decent instinct for fighting there. Minus, you know, a little bit of attrition. Plus 10 morale. Charge bonuses. Plus 50% speed. Charge bonus. Plus 25% charge speed. You're going to want this guy in a cavalry unit. So with Zhang Fei, Drunken Brawler, we're going to want to get him in a cavalry unit. And they're great. You can send them against entire 
units. And the last class of character we're going to talk about today is the commander character. They're going to increase unit combat ability. They're going to raise character satisfaction, increase unit morale, and complement melee cavalry. They're also good just as rulers uh, of your of your empire. Like Liu Bei does all kinds of bonuses to just satisfaction. We get bonuses to prestige. We get extra income. So as a commander unit, he does pretty awesome. Let's go find where he is. There he is. Uh, we've also been using him with cavalry. You can see that he does well with Saber Cavalry. Um, he does particularly well with those guys. So they complement Melee Cavalry, whereas the Vanguard complement Shock Cavalry for charges. So we've been running Liu Bei, and he's just been a total beast with this kind of cavalry. Now let's say you I wanted to... Well, fame, why don't, why don't let me do this today? All right, let's grab another army here real quick. All right, so let's say you want to switch who your commander is. You can grab this little icon right here, and that's the one who'll be your commander of your force. I like to divide um, my armies up into just my frontline guys. Uh, this guy back with the archers and a cavalry force when I do that. So the things you can recruit are going to be tied to the generals that you can get. So let's raise an army here and talk about that. Raise army. Boom. You're going to see each character comes with a certain amount of units in their retinue and certain characters that they can recruit. Also, it's the best way to find new legendary characters as well. I hope you guys found this guide useful. If you want to see more stuff like this on the channel, let me know in the comments and with that like button. I'm really enjoying this game in this series. It's one of the more challenging Total War games I've played and I've been playing since the first medieval Kazumo. All right, guys, be good. Like and subscribe. I'm going to catch you later. Mr. G out.